Hey guys, Steven here. Um, just decided to do a trailer tour video. I should say truck and tape trailer tour video. Um, I've just stumbled on some of those and I don't know why I just got fascinated started watching those things on YouTube and there's just tons of them. And of course, if you come across those videos, you're gonna come across Ron Polk. And I've just gotta say, this is not a Ron Polk inspired video. And um, I know that's kind of a joke, but the truth is every other video I see, the guy's uh, video is inspired by Ron Polk, which I mean, it's great, it's awesome. Um, I, I, I did end up going on his channel and checking it out. I'm in a little different situation here. Um, I have a small trailer. I live in an area where I work primarily out at the beaches area. It's very congested. For me to have a big trailer, just it'd be very hard, difficult to maneuver that thing around. In fact, um, I'm considering my next vehicle to be a van, more of a sprinter type van. And what I, the build out I would want to do on that would be like what I see a guy on YouTube has a carpentry channel, Scott Brown's Carpentry. Just think it's just super slick the way he's got that thing set up. Probably what I'm leaning to on my next vehicle. It's going to be a while. This pickup truck is still in great shape. I, I really enjoy it. This trailer serving me awesome right now. So I'm going to keep this set up for a while longer. But, uh, you know, I think on my next vehicle, I'll consider that. Uh, but for now, we'll go ahead. We'll get started. And I'll show you what I got going on here. Okay, we'll start here with the trailer. Um, it's a small trailer. It's a five by eight trailer. Like I mentioned before, it's a small trailer. I've had it for years, um, had the lettering done before I moved down to Florida. Um, I've been down here about five years now with my business. I had this trailer up in Wisconsin um, and it was just, you know, I didn't have any lettering on it or anything up there. It's just a white trailer. I did mostly though, I didn't really need lettering or advertising. I did more work as a subcontractor for building companies and whatnot. Uh, working for other contractors and things like that. Um, down here, I work more directly, almost entirely with homeowners. And um, I've kind of specialized since I've been down here. When I was up there, I did a little more heavy construction type work, um, you know, framing and deck building and things like that. Down here, I primarily, almost entirely focus on interior trim, you know, built-ins, cabinet installation, um, shiplap, uh, accent walls. Those things are real popular here now. So that's pretty much what uh, I'm doing. And so that's what I'm set up for. So we'll go ahead and get started. <laughs> Okay, first thing is, I've gotten to the point where I really don't want to carry heavy things anymore. Uh, just all the years of uh, the physical stuff I've done has taken a toll on my body, so I'm trying to avoid that. So what I've done is I've installed this ramp. Um, and so that I can roll things in and out of this trailer. So here we go. Um, Basically what I have is this tool bag here and any contractor or carpenter or anybody knows that these kind of bags, most people I know have a box or a tool bag with their hand tools that those things are heavy. So I recently purchased this um, cobalt bag from Lowe's and it's got wheels and a handle. It's pretty sturdy. It allows me to not have to carry that, just roll that thing around. And then here I've got my small compact Dewalt uh, job site table saw and stand. I've got that thing in a gorilla cart so I can just roll that out, set it up. Here I've got the Bosch gliding miter saw and again I found this made by Chicago Electric miter stall sand and it uh, has wheels on it and so I can just roll that thing out as well. And with that miter saw, you really, I mean, that thing is heavy. So it's great to have a stand with wheels. Um, but getting back to the table saw. So 
What I do with that is I've got the little stand there, I've got the table saw, and I've cut a piece of plywood there. It's got a handle cut in it, and I use that as the table saw outfeed uh, table and workbench. So it, I just set those craftsmen um, saw horses up, lay that across here. It's the perfect height with that stand for an outfeed table for my table saw. So that works great. I don't have to build some elaborate thing. It just, it is what it is. I pull it out. You know, I can pull this stuff out, set it up, have my table saw, my miter saw set up, um, my canopy up in 10 minutes. I mean, literally it's 10 minutes. I can be all set up, ready to go. And maybe a little longer to put it away just cause I got to gather some things up. But uh, also here in the trailer, I've got the ladders. I've just got those strapped up on the side. Those are the ladders that I use on 98% of my jobs. Again, what I've got set up here is what I use on 99% of my jobs. It's not everything I own, but it's what I use mostly all the time for what I'm doing right now. Um, so coming back in the trailer, I've got my rigid vacuum uh, set up there. Um, I've got my charger board. Now that, I actually pull out of here. I know a lot of guys have their charging stations set up right in the trailer. I pull that, I bring it out by my uh, saws and and where I'm working. It actually folds out on the back, so it kind of, you know, uh, supports itself kind of standing up at an angle. Um, so that works out nice. Here I've got the uh, rigid crate. Here, this bag is to keep some saw blades, um, drill bits, and things like that in there. My guide or my uh, sled from my Craig jig system that I use um, and then I've got a rigid box down there that is also on wheels and that is just things I don't use as much I have my DeWalt um, cordless circular saw in there and DeWalt uh, cordless sawzall which with what I'm doing right now I really don't use those I, I do have a different cordless saw uh, circular saw the Milwaukee that I really prefer and I use that mostly when I'm uh, ripping plywood and things like that but I also have uh, so I mentioned the craftsman saw horses and then I also have those I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen these things around uh, it's hard to see from here but those are just like platforms um, so they kind of set up and have a top to them and I have two of those so if I need an extra you know work bench type thing I can set that up and then I've got the uh, stand there, like a roller stand, but it's got a flat top instead of a roller, which I prefer. Um, so if I'm really cutting long lump, uh, materials, trim or whatever, um, you know, I can set that out there on the 16 foot material. Although this miter stand does extend out pretty, pretty good ways. And I'm gonna do a review on that thing along with that saw coming up. Um, so I don't really want to get too much into that right now, but I will be doing a review on that. Um, only one thing I'll say right away is that that saw is neat on a, for a lot of aspects, but that sucker I mentioned already is heavy. Um, so, okay, that's what I've got in the trailer here. Of course, you know, garbage bags. I have a little cone that I set up when, I, when I'm set up on the street or something like that. So coming around here, now here's the, my truck. So pretty much what I have, the way I have this set up is the stuff I'm gonna use basically every job I have right here. Um, I just open the tailgate, open the truck top window, and I have access to this stuff right here right away. And what I have, it's these DeWalt containers and those, you know, different fasteners, you know, exterior stainless screws, um, exterior type lags concrete anchors you know i've got some tab cons in there along with some ram set nails and stuff like that in there and then here i've got the uh, my cabinet this is what i use probably 99 percent of the jobs for fasteners it's my construction screws cabinet screws things like that and then also the one in the Milwaukee pack out uh, container there. That's all my finish nails, different lengths of finish nails, different gauges, you know, my 18 gauge, my 23 gauge, you know, the 15 gauge nails. I keep all that stuff in there. 
Framing nails and framer, I bring with me just really if I'm gonna need that. I don't really use it that much. I don't carry that stuff with me for every job. Uh, but here I've got uh, this rigid box. I've got my basically layout materials. I've got stud finder, lasers, I've got chalk lines. I've got those kind of things in there. And then this one, I have my drills. Um, that's my drill box. I have uh, three different drills in there, different purposes. Um, my 12, uh, 12 volt Milwaukee driver. And then I've got the 18 volt impact driver. And then I've got a DeWalt uh, drill driver in there as well. Um, so that's those. And I, I set these up like this so I can access this one. These lock together, but then I got to move this one to get to this one. So I built these little shelving units to be able to access these things and not have to move one to get to the other, um, just to make it quick and convenient. Generally, I'll grab that. That comes with me inside. I'll grab that, comes with me inside. Whichever one of these I'm gonna need, um, you know, I'll bring that stuff in. On top of that, I've got my, I don't really normally like to use knee pads, so I picked one of these up. It's just a foam thing. I can set this down if I have to, if I'm doing some baseboard or something like that. I'm working on my knees. Got a couple drop cloths in here, tool belt right there. Um, so that's what I have in the back of the pickup truck. Also, if you notice, I put up like a platform in here. Um, I still plan to paint those black just to darken it. But really, this is half inch plywood and I glued some carpet on it. And uh, it allows me to have a space where I can, you know, put stuff in here, you know, some small trims or um, you know, groceries or whatever I need to. Um, but I put carpet on that because primarily what I'm going to pick up, if I need to pick something up, it's going to be some trim or some cabinet parts, something like that. I, you know, I want to protect that stuff. Don't want it to get scratched. Um, but so I've got that in there. Kind of gives me a second level for for putting stuff in the back of my pickup truck actually put a piece of one by across there so that as I'm putting boards or something like that, I'm not going to worry about damage in the window. I really don't haul a lot of materials. I, I try to have that all that stuff delivered um, with the exception of the cabinets. Uh, when I buy cabinets uh, and install cabinets and sell cabinets, those come flat packed. Um, the manufacturer or the distributor I buy them from does offer to assemble them, but I find I would prefer to assemble them. I have a, a, a location set up with a kind of a storage unit with an assembly table set up. And, uh, you know, I have me and my helper, we'll, we'll assemble those things ourselves. I feel like we do a better job and, um, but I will deliver those, but I don't use this truck or truck. I mean, I use the truck to pull my other trailer. I have a different trailer for that, uh, for delivery on those, but, I don't use this really for hauling material at all. And other building materials, you know, whether it be trim or two by fours or whatever, I don't find it pays for me to go deliver that stuff. Um, I would have just rather pay the delivery charge for any of that kind of stuff, doors, whatever. And it's just more efficient for me. Um, it just doesn't make sense for me to, to take the time to go deliver that stuff. They're set up for delivery, I'll let them do that the suppliers also i just wanted to point this out i have here a piece of three quarter inch treated plywood i also have carpet on that as well that's to keep things from sliding around on it um but that allows me i can grab that i cut two slots for handles on that i can grab that i can pull that out and unload this thing uh, very easily um, so that works out pretty nice all right, coming around here on the side window, and I have the ARE truck cap, which I really have enjoyed. I like having that. I've got the side windows that open out, allow me access. But as I come in here, I have a Husky box here, um, and I can access that right here, but also this plywood is hinged in the middle, so I can open that. Um, so if I need to get in there, I can get in there and open that. But this box here is where I keep some of my cordless tools. I've got my jigsaw, circular saw. I've got my multi-tool in there. I've got my 15 gauge and 18 gauge nailer and 23 gauge, which is in that bag right there. 
Um, so I keep all that stuff right there. It's very easy to get to, it's accessible. Um, you know, I can just reach in and grab it. I don't keep that stuff in individual boxes. It just, I just keep it in this one box. Um, behind that, I actually have a cargo bar running across here. It keeps everything from going forward. That's where I keep some longer items. Um, I've got my track from my Craig system. I've got the T-square from the Craig system. If you guys aren't familiar with that, it basically turns any circular saw into a track saw. It's a great option. Um, I haven't invested in a track saw yet, probably because I found this. And I mean, other than the shroud over the blade and the um, dust collection that I think those track saws do a little better job on that. But otherwise, basically, I can do anything with this that you can do with a track saw. So, I mean, you know, this setup here, you know, it'll cost you a hundred bucks or so, but it works great. Um, there's a sled that your, your circular saw, you know, mounts on that rides on that track and it's great. Also keep my tripod in there for my laser. And sometimes I use that for a camera, um, you know, framing square. And I've got this other piece here, this yellow bar. You can see it's another attachment that screws to it. But that is like a third hand. You can hold cabinets up. I use it for that, really, is what I use that for. Um, so there's that. Um, also, just to show you here, I keep my levels here alongside. So I got the perfect area for my levels. I keep my 78, 78 inch stability on this side, my two foot. Um, level over here as well and then on this side I keep the 48 inch uh, level and my 32 inch stability level over there as well so that's basically it well not quite um, here I keep my all-important canopy and that is a a commercial grade canopy. I've used the ones from Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart. Those things just shred in the wind. So I went ahead and bought the heavier duty one. But down here in Florida, in the summertime, it is brutally hot. The sun is super bright. Um, I would prefer if I can to set up in a garage, but I don't always have that option. A lot of people here the houses don't have basements. There's not a lot of extra storage, so they store a lot of stuff in their garage. Um, so I don't really all the time have space for setting up in the garage. And a lot of times just people, you know, they want their car. So I'll end up setting up in the driveways and things like that. And um, so that thing has been invaluable to me. Keep my DeWalt blower there. It's just handy. I can just grab it and I use that thing like crazy. So that's that. Also, some of my clamps I use to keep these um, cross members in place, but also that's just a good place to store them so I can grab those when I need them um, on those clamps. I have bar clamps in that, uh, but I don't really find I use them that often. So I keep those in my garage. If I know I'm gonna need them, I'll, I'll bring them along. But Okay, so here on the tongue of the trailer, I've mounted this Husky box. And this is just things that I need basically every job as well. Some of this stuff, some of it's stuff I don't use as often, but here I've got, I just grabbed a, a bucket from Home Depot and I keep my caulk and glue and filler and caulk guns hooked on that. Um, keep my clipboard here, keep this little organizer. And this has just got, you know, my touch up kit. And it's got different cabinet stain markers and putty and, that stuff in there. Got my bigger speed square here. Down in there, I keep uh, just a crowbar and uh, hacksaw, which I really don't use very often what I'm doing these days. Shims, um, my corded tools uh, that I keep with me that I don't use that often doing what I'm doing now, but there are times where I need this stuff. So I like to keep this on the truck. Um, you know, grinder and belt sander, that's a hammer drill, if I've got to drill something into concrete, which does happen even on the cabinet installs and stuff. Some of these houses are masonry construction. 
So I do have to, you know, install tap cons and things like that from time to time, but it, not really all that often. And I've got some other stuff in there, my plane, a hand planer and stuff. I've got uh, work light there. Again, I don't really use that very often, but I like having it on the truck. And then this removable item here is just, I keep tape, you know, miscellaneous things. I've got some WD-40, different sandpaper, um, shrink wrap for when I'm, you know, got to grab some trim or something, I can wrap it up. So that's that. And then back over here is, these things I do use actually pretty much on a lot of most jobs. I, that is my uh, Palm router, which that is one of my favorite tools. I mean, not because of the brand, it's just the functionality for me. The Palm router works great. I can use it. I use it a lot. And then my orbital sander there, I use that a ton as well. So those are pretty handy to get to. So that's that. So again, guys, I just want to make the point again, I'm not carrying everything I own with me on every job. Um, 95 or 98 percent of the jobs that I do at this point are what I would call light carpentry jobs. So um, the days of doing heavy carpentry are behind me. I really don't do a lot of that anymore. I have no desire to do it. Um, now again, it's cabinet installs, custom built-ins, stuff I really enjoy doing. Um, I will do a job doing some trim or hanging doors, this kind of thing. Occasionally, like I said, I'll do some exterior. You know, we have a, a lot of people out at the beach that want shower enclosures, ex outdoor shower enclosures, you know, treated, built out of treated or cedar or something like that. And occasionally, I'll do that stuff. Um, but so that's why my setup, my truck and trailer is set up the way it is. I really don't need all this stuff. I mean... I have this stuff here. Um, you know, I have another miter saw here that I use, you know, if I'm gonna be cutting treated or lumber, I don't wanna mess up my blade on the other one, so I'll use this one. And I have my pneumatic guns here, yeah, compressors, corded, you know, circular saw, framing guns. I just don't need that stuff. I got the big Bosch, um, table saw and even like you know some guys say oh, you know, I don't ever want to have to go pick up hardware I want to have that stuff with me and those bins I showed you in my trailer I keep stocked of stuff I'm going to need a 98% really I never need uh, to be honest I mean I keep that stuff that I need on there and it's what I need I don't need but I do keep a back stock of this stuff here at my garage. So I'm always able to, you know, stock those, refill those boxes without having to run to Lowe's or something like that. And <laughs> I got some quarter round I got to get done in my house here. It's, uh, I guess this is the weekend and I'm going to do that. It's been kind of waiting to be done for a while. So I guess that's a carpenter's life. But uh, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Again, I just want to kind of show you guys this and uh, hope you enjoy it. Maybe get something out of it. Maybe, you know, there's an idea here that you can incorporate into your deal. But uh, thanks for watching. If you do like this video, please subscribe and uh, like it. And see you on the next one.